And look, Fentwood lays the blame f squarely on the doorstep of the FA. But look, I want I, I, I want to know whether you think it goes beyond them. I mean, do we do we have a certain decline in the quality of footballers, so that no matter what the FA decides, the quality that we will end up presenting in any given game is just less than what we used to have. Kojo, it's impossible to excuse the FA or the leadership of the FA in all of this. Because, for example, if you have a kid in class six and you are looking to improve the kid or you are looking for a teacher who is able to help the kid, I do not think for the life of me that you be looking at uh, a teacher who is in maybe class one or grade one who is inexperienced. <laughs> That's not what you do. And everything the FA has done in terms of getting a coach every year because they've been in power for a year has proven to be very poor. Decisions have been very poor in every sense of the word. And if you even go beyond selecting the coaches, you will notice one trend. Every time they put together a committee, and that's been the same committee looking for the same coaches that after a year, they think it's not good enough. It means there is a problem. It's either the people looking for the coaches do not have the technical know-how, they do not understand what they are looking for, or they just simply don't get the job. Because I do not see how you make a mistake one, twice, repeat it five times, and there is no problem with, with how you are seeing through or how you question things or exactly what you are looking for. So you cannot excuse the FA in all of this. Meanwhile, if you even look beyond just the coaches, all the things we do surrounding the Black Stars, the number of players we have called the last five years, which I know is beyond 80, the fact that there is no consistency in the team, the fact that when you look at our team today, we have a lot of good players at their club side playing week in, week out, making a lot of impact. But when they are pieced together in the team, there is a complete lack of cohesion. If you are talking about any serious essay, you are not looking at one that is speaking today or only a few weeks ago that they are now going to develop a DNA for our national team. We have always had identity. It used to be agro. It came to multi-system. And a lot has changed. Let's say at some point we had an identity crisis. I have been advocating that as a nation, it is important for us to have a policy on exactly what we want to do. So long-term, short-term, medium-term, whatever. And a policy that transcends just an ethic coming to power and hanging hanging everything on a slogan about bringing back the love and doing things contrary to exactly the sense that will bring back the love. So you oh. cannot take the FA out of this question at all. Because, for example, if I just want to even dwell on their decision to bring uh, uh, Otoado, it's been such a massive failure that it is so sad. Because you bring out your own criteria, like Fintu mentioned, and he doesn't meet one. I cannot for the life of me understand how anyone with a plume product like the Black Stars would decide that I will bring an inexperienced coach who is a trainer scout at a club level without any record except qualifying through a playoff for the team to go to the World Cup, finish last in their group and come home and bring someone like that to salvage a situation or a sinking boat that has been coming since 2019, and then decide to give the person two inexperienced assistant coaches, you set us you set us up to fail. And I don't know why the essay would do such a thing because every indication was on the wall that this appointment looks bad and it was not going to take us anywhere. And when we were put to the test. We have failed miserably. Mama V was asking whether the KPIs of Otto includes qualifying us for the Nations Cup. I think it is so basic that if the FA did not include it in his contract, everybody should be calling for the heads of the FA. But I am, I'm, I'm sorry. 
In this country, we have been calling for this for so long, and it looks like leadership, I'm talking about the presidency, do not care at all. Otherwise, we won't have the SA and the ministry with their various heads operating like they do or they have been doing the last few years. So unfortunately, we are in a big mess. And the ability of the SA to even accept that we are in a mess without acting as though it's business as usual. It's a conversation we can begin to have. So unfortunately, this has been coming. You could almost take most of our, of our tapes in terms of uh, teasing out the issues, analyzing, going to the archives of time. And you may see that we have been talking about the same thing for a while now. It's unfortunate hmm. that the international press is putting the spotlight on us. But if that is what it takes for the FA to set up, for government of Ghana to see the embarrassment beyond not just having a pitch to play on that the president had to intervene, then maybe so might it be. Hmm.